everyone, it is Miss Arlen or Mrs. Altoff um, back here with your second speech language video. Today we are going to be doing a language target. We are going to be working on following directions while we read the story Corduroy Lost and Found by Don Freeman. So let's get started. One sunny Saturday afternoon, Lisa and her mother were riding the bus home from a shopping trip. Corduroy sat comfortably on Lisa's lap as the bus bumped along. She held on to him so he wouldn't fall. Lisa took very good care of Corduroy. He looked out the window while Lisa and her mother talked about Lisa's birthday. Let's look at this picture. First, point to Lisa and then point to her bear. Corduroy's ears perked right up. Lisa is having a birthday and I don't have a present for her, he said to himself. He looked out the window at all the stores. I wonder what she would like, he thought. Before you point to the store, point to Corduroy. They all got off the bus at the next stop. Lisa's mother rode the elevator up to their apartment, but Corduroy and Lisa liked to run up the stairs two at a time to see if they could get there first. Point to something yellow after you point to Corduroy. That night, Corduroy lay awake long after Lisa fell asleep. He was worried about her present. I need to find something special, he decided. Point to who's sleeping before you point to Corduroy. Very early the next morning, Corduroy slipped out of bed, tiptoed out of Lisa's room, and crept through the apartment. He opened the front door and stepped into the hallway. Find something blue and then point to the bed. Just then, the elevator doors opened. Maybe I'll find something for Lisa, said Corduroy as he looked in. Hmm. Can you point to the railing and then point to the stool? Corduroy looked at the buttons on the wall. Each button had a number on it. This is like a game, Corduroy said. Lisa might like a game for her birthday. Corduroy climbed up on the stool and pressed a button. Can you press the number four and then press the number five? All at once, the doors closed and the elevator began to move up. This is like a rocket ship, thought Corduroy. Maybe Lisa would like to ride in a rocket ship for her birthday. Corduroy pressed more buttons. Down and up, up and down he went. <clears throat> touch Corduroy and then touch the floor. Finally, the elevator came to a stop. When the doors opened, Corduroy stepped out into the lobby. Find the car before you find the chair. <clears throat> Peeking out over the roof of the building across the street, Corduroy saw just what he was looking for. It's the biggest, prettiest balloon I ever saw, thought Corduroy. That is what I want to give Lisa for her birthday present. 
Ooh, what does he think is a balloon? Can you see? Do you think he thinks the umbrellas are a balloon? Or do you think he thinks the moon is a balloon? Corduroy had never before been outside when it was still dark. The familiar neighborhood looked very different. And where was Lisa's balloon? Then he saw it at the end of the street. It's getting away, cried Corduroy. He ran as fast as he could to catch it. Touch two windows before you touch the moon. Before he had gone very far, he saw a big brown dog. Maybe Lisa would like a pet for her birthday, thought Corduroy. Hello, he said to the dog. Urf, barked the dog, and it picked him up by the overalls and carried him down the street. Can you pet the dog and then hold his leash? Just when they got to the corner, a big noisy truck slowed down and someone threw a tall stack of newspapers onto the sidewalk. The dog was so surprised that he dropped corduroy on top of the papers. First find the papers and then find a shoe. That is where Mr. Gonzalez, the owner of the newsstand, found corduroy sitting all by himself. Where in the world did you come from, mi amigo? Say hi to Mr. Gonzalez and then point to Corduroy. Hi, Mr. Gonzalez. He put Corduroy up on the shelf. I think someone must have dropped you. Very special bear, and I bet they will be back for you. Until then, you can help me sell my papers. Point to two lollipops before you point to something purple. From up on the shelf, Corduroy could see everything that was going on. A as people bought papers, Corduroy smiled shyly at them. This must be a job, said Corduroy. I've always wanted a job. Point to the woman after you point to the man. A woman stopped in front of the newsstand. How much for the bear, she asked. Sorry, senora, this bear is not for sale. He is lost and waiting to be found, said Mr. Gonzalez. Can you point to two things that are yellow and then point to your favorite newspaper or magazine? Lost? Corduroy had never wanted to be lost. He thought about Lisa. He knew that she would be worried about him. Then Corduroy remembered the balloon. He had forgotten all about it. Where was it? How does Corduroy feel on this page? Worried, sad? Point to who's worried and then point to a magazine. Corduroy looked up and down the street. It wasn't as dark anymore, but he didn't see the beautiful balloon anywhere. Can you find three windows and then find the lollipops? Now he was sad and sleepy. He wanted to be home with Lisa. Corduroy fell asleep thinking about balloons and home. He was just waking up when he heard a familiar voice. Oh, who is yawning? 
point to who's yawning and then find Lisa. A very worried Lisa was asking Mr. Gonzalez if she could put up a sign made for her lost bear. This is a very good picture, senorita, said Mr. Gonzalez. <clears throat> point to Mr. Gonzalez's hat and then point to Lisa's shirt. But you won't need this sign. Your bear is here with me. Mr. Gonzalez took Corduroy down from the shelf and gave him a lollipop. It looked just like the balloon he had wanted to give Lisa. How does Mr. Gonzalez and Corduroy feel? I think that they feel happy. They are showing us that they feel happy with smiles on their faces. Can you first point to the lollipop and then point to Corduroy? Muchas gracias, senor, said Lisa. Thank you for helping me, Corduroy, said Mr. Gonzalez. Adios. Before you point to Lisa and her bear, point to two magazines. Corduroy and Lisa were so happy they ran all the way home and up the stairs two at a time. Corduroy, I was so worried about you, said Lisa. The only thing I wanted for my birthday was to have my best friend back home with me. Point to the two yellow things on the page and then point to one shoe. Lisa gave Corduroy a big hug. That's exactly what I wanted too, thought Corduroy, and he gave Lisa a birthday hug right back. The end. So I hope you enjoyed that story, and I hope this gave you an idea of how you can use stories at home to work on following directions by finding things on the page. <clears throat> I will continue to post more videos of myself reading stories and targeting different speech and language skills. As always, please reach out to me if you have any questions, A-R-L-Y-N underscore A-L-T-H-O-F-F at O-L-S-D dot U-S or 614-607-4032. Bye for now. See you soon.